Uh, I enjoy the, the chef part of it. I really enjoy cooking. You know, I don't have a problem hopping on the line and, and throwing pizzas in the oven. It's, you know, it's always exciting. It's, it's the controlled chaos that we're all drawn to. And whether that's front of the house, being a bartender and trying to make this guy a drink while this guy's trying to fight you and that chick's thrown up in the corner. Or you're in the kitchen and the dishwasher just walked out and the, the fry cook stuck his hand in the fryer and the saute cook's crying in the corner because he's a baby. You know, we can handle all of it. It might be extremely stressful and very trying at times, but I think that's kind of why we're in the industry because that's a, you know, it's, it's exciting to, to, to get through a service and be like, yeah, man, we pulled it off, even though the fry cook's a dumbass and the saute cook's still crying. You know, but it's, uh, it's exciting. I think all chefs enjoy scream therapy in the walk-in because it's fairly sound protected. And if you walk by a walk-in and there's a chef yelling inside, you, you pretty much know what's going on. But I was trained by, by my father in the butcher shop that if you're pissed off about something, you go in the walk-in and scream at a hanging piece of beef and come out and everything's good again. So. Does that work? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I used to scare the shit out of people, I think. I used to, you know, when I was 25 and I had my first executive chef job, I, yeah, I, I threw plates and I yelled at people and I kind of worked through that, got rid of my anger issues. And by the time I was back in California, I realized that just giving people the disappointed dad look was way more effective. I, I'm very lucky to have a base of, of cooks and bartenders that are willing to help me out. I know there's there's people that that aren't that there's people that don't inspire cooks and bartenders and dishwashers and whoever to to do a better job. And I think that over the years I've I don't know if I've learned or just it's kind of fallen into my lap that there's people that I really enjoy working with. And from what they tell me they enjoy working with me too and I I think that's very beneficial to what I do. As a line cook, I always underestimated what, what the chef did. And I'm sure that when I go sit in the office for two hours and code invoices and write schedules and do all this other stupid bullshit involved that there's, there's gotta be a couple cooks that are, you know, oh, that guy's just sitting on his ass in the office. But, um, you know, it's a full-time job when I, when, as, an, as a chef, you don't get the clock out. Oh man, and for music, man, we run the gamut. We, we go from the Wailers to Madonna. I mean, there's some Taylor Swift that plays. You know, I don't know about you, but I feel 22 in the kitchen sometimes. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, we're all over the place. It's, uh, it's a very eclectic uh, mix of music. There's some old school country that will pop up every once in a while. There's some metal that gets thrown around. Uh, I grew up listening to punk music, so there's some of that. Uh, yeah, man, we're, I'm all about music in the kitchen.